Morning beautiful people, it's Tim Wilde, it's Meditation Monday, welcome to a brand new week and uh, obviously we're, we're kind of two weeks into November now and things are hot enough on planet Earth and I want to introduce a very old friend of mine this morning. Now a lot of you will be already familiar with with him and I've been working with him since the start of the, 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 the start of this particular journey. And um, this is Anubis. Now, Anubis will be known to many of you as, as the kind of the god of the underworld in ancient Egyptian times, but that was just one of his many, many roles um, throughout history and, and probably to be between you and I, it probably wasn't portrayed in the correct way. Now, when I worked with Anubis during Atlantean times, he was known as the Keeper of Secrets. Okay, now the secrets in question are actually the, uh, the, the, like annals of information and sacred text and technology and all of the things that we discovered on our 260,000 year adventure during the Atlantean era. And um, Anubis was charged with keeping the information safe. Now, when Atlantis fell, at the uh, about 10,000 years ago, which isn't that long, Anubis placed the sacred information in various places. It was stored in crystal skulls, it was stored in the archives of the halls of Amenti, and, and beneath the Sphinx in ancient Egypt. There were many different places. The, the, the considerable quantity of information that we had was separated and placed into ver ver like many different locations. Now the best part about how this was done, because it was actually very, very clever, was the fact that it was set on a vibrational lock, which means that, uh, and I've heard the question asked many times over the years, is what happens if when we retrieve our sacred knowledge that we misuse it again? The way it was placed away is, was done in such a way where it can only be reaccessed again when our collective consciousness and individual consciousness has risen to a level where we don't even think about misusing it. So at the moment we're kind of getting we're getting the beginnings of this this sacred information back again. We're remembering it ourselves, we're retrieving it from our crystals, we're gaining access to the halls of Amenti. And slowly but surely, or, or, or not quite, maybe not quite so slowly this year, we are re-accessing the, basically our spiritual heritage in, a, in order for us to step into the light. Now, when collectively this planet shifts again, which it is about to, and then it will shift again, it's, it's obviously, it's a, it's a step-by-step -step process. More of this information will be revealed. The higher our vibration, the more of this information becomes accessible. But in the meantime, my good friend Anubis is is the keeper of this information. Obviously, there are many keepers. But a lot of us have all also been charged with individual responsibility for this. But overall, Anubis does the work. He is the one who seals the door to the vast libraries, to the clouds of information. And not only that, he, he's taking a very proactive role at the moment in providing uh, physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual support and protection for light workers. Uh, we've all, we all, we're most of us are familiar with the the amazing and powerful um, figure of Archangel Michael. He's he's the first archangel that I really truly connected with. Many of us are very very bonded with him, and his his the familiarity of his his deep blue cloak of protection, that archetypal masculine warrior. Um, archangel energy with his sword and his shield. Well, the legion, Anubis and his legions of Anubis are very, very similar. Now, but the difference between, say, Anubis and Archangel Michael is that Anubis was a physical human being, like I am, like you are. He's got Earth experience and has served many, many times in physical on the planet. And he and his warriors are very capable of working alongside us whilst we do the jobs that we're doing. So I want to introduce him in kind of what I would call a sentinel role this morning. This is this is how he, he first reintroduced himself to me in 2013. So I, I went for a soul reading. This is one of this is the, the third and the final 
verification that I needed to remember who I was on my ascension pathway and what I was going to be doing. And it was with a with a wonderful chap called Andrew Hobbs who lives in Dorset. And the first thing that he said to me was like, "Oh Lord, you've got this. You've got this huge." you've got this huge looming sentinel of Anubis stood behind you and he's not allowing me access. And that introduced me to the fact that I already came with a guardian. Now, because a lot of us are working on the front line at the moment, because we're now beginning to put ourselves into energies and situations and transitions, which are very challenging, you know, there is resistance against what we're doing on quite a high level. The majority of us have the ability to connect with our own sentinel. It's like it's a, it, the general, the generosity of the higher realms knows no bounds. For those of us that have got the job to do that we're doing, we are protected. And um, I, I hope this kind of goes out to a lot of you that might be feeling a little bit, a little bit shaken, maybe a little bit unsafe about what's going on at the moment. Just tune in for a few moments into the level of strength and protection and wisdom and love that you have around you. Okay, so close your eyes now. This is the walking meditation. Whenever you might feel a little bit rocked at the moment, whenever you're feeling a little bit out of kilter, just close your eyes, take a deep breath in through your nose. Breathe out through your mouth and just allow your body to relax. Take another deep breath in. Breathe in through your nose. Breathing in golden light. And as you breathe out, just allow your bodies and your fields physically, mentally, emotionally and spiritually to shine a very bright, radiant gold colour. Let everything go. One last time, breathe in through your nose. Breathe out through your mouth. See and feel yourself completely lit up now. You are bright, radiant gold. And with your eyes closed now, either in your head or out loud, say, I now invoke the presence of Anubis and his legions of Anubis. And just sense and feel for a few moments, a very strong, very powerful, but loving presence stood by your right hand side. And Anubis will be there, surrounded by bright golden light. Allow him to introduce himself to you. Let's just take a few moments. You may all be, already be familiar with his energy, or this might be a first time introduction. Just allow him to state his presence and to move into your bodies and fields and just surround you with safety, with confidence, with wisdom and with love. And he's, he's asking me to let you know that he is holding an individual gift for everybody that is connecting with him this morning. So that might be quite a lot of you out there. He's holding in his hands what looks to me to be a silver box. So just if you wish, accept the box and it will have something inside it for you that is very pertinent to your ascension process at this time. It might be a key, it might be a code, it might be an energy artifact. Just allow a few moments for this exchange to take place. What are you receiving back from the, from the ancient realms of wisdom, your spiritual heritage? And whatever this gift may be, it might be energetic, it might be symbolic. Just accept it. And I always like to place energy gifts within my heart centre. So take it out of the box and place it within your heart. This is a gift of reconnection or higher connection. 
So just take a few moments now with Anubis stood by your right hand side and just be aware now that if you haven't already done so, you are now being allocated a powerful sentinel of Anubis to accompany you on your ascension pathway at this time. So just to your left hand side, to start to sense and see and feel a very large, very powerful, might come to you in platinum or silver or bright gold. A powerful sentinel of Anubis stood to your left hand side. Just close your eyes, acquaint yourself with the energy, with the presence. And just know that energetically and physically that this powerful soul will be your guardian and will oversee every step of your journey at this time. Just in your head now, greet your sentinel of Anubis. You may be familiar with the sentinel's energy. You may be aware that you have worked together side by side in high frequency jobs, maybe in other places, in other times, in other dimensions that you have been together before, a little bit like your guardian angel who's served with you since the beginning of your soul journey and your, your personal dragon. We are far from alone on this journey. So just connect with your sentinel now. Now Anubis on your right hand side is just taking his leave now. So he's saying thank you and goodbye to you. And just saying that you are welcome to connect. Join him in the halls of Amenti at any time. Just know, never be afraid to ask. Always ask what you want and you shall receive on this spiritual pathway if it is for your higher good. So just saying thank you to Anubis this morning for joining us. And standing very powerfully now behind you, surrounding you with a field of higher frequency love and protection is your sentinel. Now whatever you're doing this week, wherever you are going in the world, whatever projects you have, whatever, whatever you are embarking on, just know that you have the additional protection and the love and the security of not just the Sentinels of Anubis, but we are being joined by an incredibly high, uh, an incredibly large throng, very high frequency beings that are assisting with this push on the, on, on the way forward to the 21st of December 2012. Now, I'll be talking a little bit more about the, 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 the big, we're calling it the big switch now, the big light switch, one light off, another light on, which is occurring on, on the winter solstice in the northern hemisphere, the, southern, the summer solstice in the southern hemisphere. And uh, just, but just for the time being, over the course of the day, whenever you've got a quiet moment or if, you, if you're taking time to meditate and be in your space, just familiarise yourself and acquaint yourself with, with the sentinel who's come to join you. Because um, it's a real privilege and a real honour to be on this planet serving at the moment. I know the circumstances might be a bit challenging and a little bit difficult, but we have never been more supported than we are at the moment. So sending you all loads of love. Hope you have a beautiful start to the week. And uh, from me and my team, I shall see you very soon. Bye for now.